Welcome to part two of the Power Station series, in which we will be walking you through and explaining the technology within inside the Power Station. So let's begin. One of the main functionalities of the Power Station is active noise cancellation. It's a similar concept to how noise cancellation headphones works. However, ours is based on military technology using aircrafts and we refined the process called a version two. So you have the incoming signal here, which the active noise cancellation here generates, inverts it, sends it out, and also cancels out the effect. Therefore, clean power comes through, leaving the noise behind. There is also wireless purification. It will reduce any stray noise caused by wireless devices. Inside the ACI purifier, located inside the power station, we've included over voltage surge protection. What this means, any spikes in the voltage, such as electrical storms, then the ACI purifier will take the impact, leaving your power supplies and equipment protected. Also on the ACI purifier is the polarity and ground detection capabilities. When you insert the plug into your wall, it will let you know if a ground is present or not, and also if the polarity is incorrect or not. I'll start by using an EU plug connected to a travel extension. The ground pins are not touching, therefore no ground, it can't reference the polarity. As you can see, both LEDs are red. Next, I'll be using the EU to UK adapter that ships with the ACI purifier. The UK grounding pin will connect with the travel extension grounding pin, and therefore the LED will change green to reference that there is a ground present. As you can see, ground is present, but polarity is still incorrect. Next, I'll rotate the EU IEC plug inside the adapter to make sure the polarity is correct. As you can see, the polarity is correct, and there's a ground present. This is how the ACI purifier should be for best results. The LED is both green. The built-in ACI purifier has the capability to bring in a ground into the power station or can give a ground from the power station into your system. For situations where no ground is present, it's likely that the wall that you're connected to does not have a proper ground. You can use the Groundhog Plus from another wall outlet connected into the power station and bring in the ground line that way. If your wall outlet has a ground, but your audio system does not have a ground, for example, no grounded power supplies, you can use the power station and the Groundhog to implement a ground directly into your system. To do this, you need to purchase an external Groundhog Plus that has four possible connections. The main wire required is the 4.4 speaker connection and also the male RCA like this. This is inserted into the ACI purifier like so. You can use the male RCA connection to connect up to a female RCA port on your device, or you can use one of the various attachments. Female RCA to USB connection to connect to a USB device like a computer. Female RCA to DC speed, it will connect to the barrel of your power supplies. Female RCA to 3.5mm connection, which connects directly to an unused 3.5mm on your device. We have already created videos of how to diagnose and use the Groundhog Plus with an ACI purifier. The power station is exactly the same, so therefore I'll post the link below so you guys can go and watch that video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this more detailed guide about the power station. Stay tuned for part three, where I'll be discussing where to place two external ACI purifiers for maximum benefit. Oh, and don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up. If you want to get notifications for our future videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.